This is The Daily Pulse from Speak My Word Ministries. I'm Travis Zimmerman. I want to recount to you a story, an experience that happened to our family, and to me specifically, at Seneca Hills Bible Conference, where we ministered over the Memorial Day holiday. My family and I were invited there, and we actually spoke three, I spoke three messages there on Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. And on the second message, just after it, I was approached by a man named Jeff, who's deaf. And I'd never had a con you know, I've been involved with many types of people, many experiences like this, but never had a conversation where we're theologically discussing some of the questions that Jeff had. And just, you know, we met a couple there named John and Indy, and John and Indy were, were, were good friends with Jeff, and Jeff was in a Bible study with them, and, and kind of the Holy Spirit you know, reached out to me before this message on Saturday through John, and John stopped me and said, hey, you're going to have a deaf man, is that okay? You know, my wife, Indy, is a deaf and terp, and you know, she's going to be able to share your words with him, and as, you know, A-OK, -okay, we, we kind of became real quick friends. He's an airline pilot, we had a lot to talk about. So after the message, as Jeff and, you know, Indy is introducing Jeff, she said, you know, and you could totally read in his body language, he, you know, he had his arms crossed like this, and, and Indy said, Jeff was initially very skeptical of you, and you know, and, and she signed Jeff, you know, signed to her what was you know else on his mind, and he didn't you know think that you had anything relevant to say. But as he listened to you, you know, he began to, to, to get a passion, and and get, time out. That's not me. That's God. That's totally God. God moves hearts. If I offended people, that would definitely be me. But God used me to reach into his heart. We had a conversation back and forth, and at one point I was on my knees, and you know I'm going into the Word of God, pointing out Scripture, and then Indy is able to translate to Jeff, and just seeing that passion. You know, Jeff really was wrestling with the Scriptures. You know, the fact that he didn't have hearing like most most of us didn't matter. He was still wrestling with the Scriptures and trying to understand what God's plan is for his life. Any one of us, whether we're deaf or mute or blind or or none of those challenges were to wrestle with God's Word. And it was fascinating. So here's some encouragement to Jeff that I read out of God's Word. It's Isaiah chapter 35, verses 5 to 6. And this is the day of, you know, when, when you know, Isaiah is so broad in scope, you know, when, when the day comes, when Jesus reigns. I told him he reigns already, but when he reigns on earth and, and his plan is, has, has come to fruition, it says this, Then the eyes of the blind will be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer, and the mute tongue shout for joy. Isaiah chapter 35, verses 5 to 6. That day will come, Jeff. That day will come, Sally. Whoever you, you know, any of us, God's people, that will come for us who believe in Jesus Christ. We can trust him like we can trust the, the sun rising and sun setting. We can trust the S-O-N in Jesus Christ. Amen.